In this Excel video, we shall have a look at conditional formatting using formulas and dates. So first of all, our worksheet. This type of example came out of a question I received quite recently whilst doing the advanced, our advanced Excel training course from a customer. So here we have test number one. Now test number one was taken on the 28th of July last year, 2021. So in column D, we've got a simple calculation because the test should be taken every six months. So the test should have been taken on the 26th of January 2022. Now I'm recording this video on the 16th of May. You can see there, I've got a formula saying equal to day, 16th of May. So it's clearly already overdue. It's the same for test four. So now we're going to have a look at two other types of activities. First of all, test number two. Well, this was taken on the 5th of December last year, 2021. It's actually due, six months time, on the 5th of June. So it's getting quite close for a retest. It's due within the month. The same is the case for test number six, due within the month. Now, test three and test five. They're not quite due yet. But they are still due within a six month window, in fact between month two and month six. So we've got those coloured green, not quite so urgent, but they will come up soon. So how do we do this? First of all, in conditional format, you select the range of cells that you want to apply conditions to. And we have three rules. Conditional formatting, manage the rules. You can see here the three rules I have created. Each rule has a formula applied to it. So the red rule is where today, take away today's date if you like, take away the date in D2. If that's greater than zero, that means it's already overdue. If you just hover over um, rule number two, which is the, the green rule if you like, um, there we have an AND formula. And if you require, the AND formula must return the answer true for all the arguments for it to be true. So for D2 minus today greater than or equal to 30 and also D2 minus today less than or equal to the sixth month on 82 number of days. If both of those are true, i.e. between month two and month six, it goes green. Quite a similar formula for the amber or for the orange, but this time it's just within the 30 day window coming up quite soon and it's applied to D2 to D7. So there you have it. A simple spreadsheet there showing when tests are overdue, coming up for being retested, or really quite close within the month. And we hope you've enjoyed our video.